Hey guys, welcome back to another super quick tutorial. I've gotten a lot of comments from people wanting me to make more tutorials, so today I'm going to be doing one of the most popular ones I've gotten, and that is how to do the drawing effect on videos. I've seen it being used in a lot of different kind of videos lately. A lot of music video directors are starting to use this effect again. So go ahead and open up After Effects, and once you have your clips inside After Effects, double click on your clip to simply bring it over to the Layer tab, and then click on the Brush tool, because you're going to add a pen stroke right here. Click on the brush tool. It's also Command-B on the keyboard. Come over here to the side to the preferences for the paint tool. There's all these tabs over here. Go to the paint tool and make sure the duration is set to single frame. After that, you can pick whatever kind of color you want to go. I'm just going to stick with white for now. Then you're basically ready to go. Um, the way to change the brush size is you can hold Command down, click with the left with your mouse, and move your mouse up and down and it'll make the diameter bigger or smaller. Um, I usually stay around a 20. It, it really kind of depends on uh, what, what you're drawing. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller for this. And then start kind of near the beginning of where you, wanna, where you want the effect to begin. Say, let's just say right here. The way to advance one frame in After Effects is hold Command down and use your right arrow key. And to go back a frame, your left arrow key forward to frame your right arrow key. I'm just going to do like a highlighting effect like I did in the example. So I'm just going to begin drawing. And basically what you're doing is you're just drawing every single frame in the video you're going to draw on there. It can be done with the mouse. It's definitely going to be a lot easier if you have some sort of pen. This is just one basic way to use this effect. In the end, it really just comes down to what you can draw and how much time you want to spend on each frame. I really hope this tutorial helped, and if there's any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try to answer all of them. And if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Hey!